Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you again today. And I'm coming at you, I actually uploaded this video already. And it didn't go through. So, I'm coming at you before I go to bed tonight. And um, before I just lay back and watch the movies. I wanted to share with you a great couponing tip that I'm so excited to share with you. Because I haven't actually seen anyone share this tip. And I love basically showing you guys like new ways of seeing things and new ways of thinking when it concerns couponing. And I do this because um, it's going to definitely save you a lot of money. And when you actually get and grasp the concept, you're going to be like, wow, I didn't think about that. But now that I see it, yeah, I could have saved a long time ago. So this is one of those tips. And I hope um, you experienced veteran extreme couponers can also um, piggyback on this and and um, for you newbies uh, the ones that I'm holding your hand um, you're gonna find this tip quite amazing so I'm going to use a coupon that we got in the mail uh, recently I think it was th this uh, past week and I'm going to show you specifically the coupon and show you how you can actually get the maximum savings with that coupon and how to do so. Now these are for Classico pie, um, pasta sauces. Now the pasta sauces come in your spaghetti or marinara or you can get your Alfredo's and things like that. So it's a variety of different ones you can get. There's no specification on here uh, saying that you only can get one brand or I mean one variety just one brand. Okay and if you read the coupon it says a dollar on a dollar off of fresh beef with purchase of two classical pasta so um, sauces. Now, as you can see on this coupon, it doesn't specify the type of beef. It just has to be a beef product. So, of course, that ranges from steak, steak cubes, um, cube steak, ground beef, anything like that. It just has to be a fresh um, beef product. So. This is also giving you a tip on you have to read your coupons accurately. And if you read them accurately, you see that you have angles or ways to get around things. Only if you read them accurately can you do that. Okay? So, let me get a little bit more comfortable so I can actually share this with you guys. Okay. So, now, also take note that I have five coupons here but they're all together because if you see in the corner you may see the gloss of the tape and what, if, what I've done is I've strategically placed that tape in a corner to keep them all together where it doesn't interfere with the fact that it's a manufactured coupon it doesn't interfere with the date of the expiration date of the coupon and it sure doesn't interfere with the barcode but yet they're all together and it only took one little teeny piece of clear strip tape okay to do so that's just so it can keep I can keep it from you know I can keep it being organized organized in my home as well as when I go to the store um, also it causes um, it, it actually helps the cashier as, as well because all of them will be grouped together and also it doesn't all wind up being a mess in her register so she just basically have to flip through and just scan okay now the great deal about this is you have two options to maximize your your uh, your money first of all my local food market which is Safeway actually has their classical products buy one go one free so that's a great way to um, maximize your money because it says on here you have to buy two now it doesn't say you have to pay for two necessarily it just says that you have to purchase basically two now with the buy one one free which is considered BOGO it's two products right okay so we've met the requirements for that next it says let's tackle the dollar off of the beef now these are the two options that you have to actually maximize your money a, you can either shop on the clearance rack. Yes, they have a clearance rack of meat. You can either shop on the clearance rack and get meat that already has a coupon attached to it. You're able to use that coupon as well. Okay? So, let's do the math. Say you find some beef 
okay let's say steak you find it for four dollars it has a 50 percent off uh, tag because it's clearance so it's going to be two dollars then they're going to give you a dollar off with this coupon so you're going to get your steak for one dollar yeah so all together you're going to pay four dollars because class code is two ninety nine around my way. Yes, it's buy one going free, but the one that I have to pay for is two ninety nine. So I'm gonna pay my three dollars for my classico, but I'm gonna get my beef steak as an example right now for a dollar. So four dollars, I get two classicos and a piece of steak. Yeah. But I got another way that I bet you didn't think of that is gonna maximize your money even beyond that. Now, we're going to get out two classical products. Already we know, $2.99 for two. Okay. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your behind to the butcher who is back there, you know, packaging meat. And you're going to ask him to package you. Let's use ground beef as an example right now. You're going to ask him to package you a pack of ground beef. Now, usually most places have ground beef on sale for 99 cents. But if not, you're going to ask him that you want to get as close as possible to that dollar mark. So you're going to ask him to package you $1 worth of ground beef. Now, he may be a little cent, a few cents over. Four or five cents is fine. But guess what you get it for? You get it for free. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that they can actually ask for their meat to be repackaged or to be packaged fresh back there. Yeah, you can ask for that. Just ring that bell for assistance and ask for it. Now, this is where having multiple coupons and that I recommend that you guys buy multiple papers every week comes into play. For a deal like that, I'm going to show you how literally you can feed your family for about a week and a half on probably about $15 to $20. Yeah, I said a week and a half, you could probably feed your family dinner for literally a week and a half. Now, of course, we're not going to always want the same thing for every day. But it's just the fact that if you had to, and if you're worried about feeding your family and you had to feed them on almost nothing, yeah, you can do it. And you can do it with couponing. Now, I have five coupons. So let's do the math. If I went to Safeway, got my ground beef for a dollar a pound, I'm going to wind up with ten classical spaghetti sauces and five pounds of ground beef for fifteen dollars you guys yeah that's a lot for fifteen bucks ask yourself when you went to the sub shop the other day and got that pizza how much did it cost you and it was gone that night ask yourself when you ordered three frappies from mcdonald's and it came to nine dollars for three large frappies and some change wasn't it gone within an hour Ask yourself when you decided to, you know, get that Burger King sandwich that just came out and then you had to feed everybody else in the car, didn't it come well over that? Yeah. So, that just shows you that you can actually be wise with your money. Yes, we are going to want to splurge sometimes and we're going to always want to have things that, you know, is new to our palate or new to us or whatever. That's all found and dandy. But we do have to be mindful when we are getting those things and we're being excessive with those things. So, yeah. So, I just wanted to share that tip with you guys. Um, that's one of the ways that you can, um, if you read up on your couponing, um, if you soak up all the information, if you look at not only my channel but others who would stream coupon and give tips and like I said be a sponge soak it all up and if you do so you too will get great savings you too will be a great couponer and you too can be a better steward over your money so I thank you so much you guys for viewing commenting and all that good stuff be blessed